everybody, my name is Emily. I work as a cultural interpretive guide for Chiglun Native Village, located in Sutton, Alaska. Today I'm going to be telling you about the different seasons and how you would say them in our Atna language and what our ancestors did during these different seasons to survive. Chiglun Native Village is one of the 229 federally recognized tribal villages in Alaska. Our Atna Dene tribe has occupied the land along Katsiatona, now called Matnuska River, for thousands of years. Our ancestors lived in the foothills and along the streams of the Talkeetna Mountains. Our offices are located in Sutton area, and we provide multiple services to our community, regardless of ethnicity. Springtime, Don't Death. March. Seventh month of snow. Kont Ache Naaya. April. Hudli Naaya, which means water only freezes in the morning. May. Gaya Naaya, which means when animals are born. Spring was a time of long days and good travel conditions. Snow had a crust on the top layer which made hunting on snowshoes easy. Hunting and trapping activities increased this time of year. Summertime, sand. June is salmon month. Shuk e naaya. July is kults naaya which means feather down fluff month. August is hutsik naaya, which means leaves turn brown. The summer season included hunting, fishing, and berry picking. They would fish king salmon, sockeye salmon, silver salmon, pink and chum salmon, among others, and they would hunt moose, caribou, sheep, and small game. Fall time, Nahu. September is Dichigi Naaya, leaves fall down. October is Dinigi Sani Naaya, which means bull moose in rut time. November is Ta'i Na'aya, third month of snow. Fall time consisted of fishing, silver, pink, chum salmon, among others, berry picking, hunting moose, caribou, sheep, and small game, and trading and visiting. Winter time, high debt. December, Dinki Naaya, fourth month of snow. January, Ashtani Naaya, fifth month of snow. February, Gustani Naaya, sixth month of snow. Winter time meant a slower pace and settling down for a few months. They normally settled near the river, but set back into the woods a bit and up on a rise where temperatures are usually a little warmer. When days were longer and warmer, they would move out to hunting grounds. Extreme cold weather, sometimes negative 40, prohibited extended hunting trips for weeks at a time. They would dig holes in the ground and put food in there to store it like a refrigerator. Some of the favorite activities during winter were storytelling, singing and dancing in potlatches.